Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we're going to look at a very interesting JavaScript web API called Resize Observer. We will look at how and when you can use this Resize Observer in the application. So let's suppose you have two elements in the flex box. One of the element change its size with the user input. So I just created here a paragraph with editable attribute. So I can edit this paragraph. So if the user types something inside this paragraph, as you know, the other element gets shrink. Now what I want, if the size of this element gets bigger, then I want to move this element to somewhere else and fix the width of this division tag. You can't solve this problem with media query because media query use device viewport or you can say the window viewport. Here we are not resizing the window. We are resizing the width of this division tag. So to solve this problem, we have the resize observer. So in this lecture, let's see how we can use this resize observer and solve this problem. So as you can see here, I just created here three files, index.html, main.js, and style.css. To the index.html, I link the style.css, and inside this, I have a division tag with a container class, and inside this, I have here a resizer class of div, and inside this div, I have two elements. This is the fix with division tag and a paragraph. I can edit this paragraph with the content editable attribute. Inside the style.css, I simply first selected the container, then just put everything at the center of the document using these statements, then specify the max width to this container and this border. After that, I choose the resizer, specify display flex to it. As I said, both element are in the flex box. So I just choose here display flex. If you want, you can choose here grid as well and put both this element in the grid layout. I choose here flex box. Then I've specified here width and font size. And then I'm gonna choose the paragraph and choose the focus event. So I'm gonna first remove the outline because if I remove this outline, then you can see when I click in the paragraph, I'm gonna have this outline to this paragraph. So I'm gonna remove that first and I'm gonna wrap all the words. So I'm gonna say here word break all and word wrap normal. Just for that, I'm gonna choose this fix width, this division tag, and then I'm gonna specify background color to it, this background color, some width and height, and the transition property. Don't worry, you can download all this code from the link provided in the description. After that, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna link my main.js to the index.html, and in the main.js here, I'm gonna solve my problem. So what we have to do is, we have to first get the fixed element. Fixed element means this fix width. So in the main.js, here I'm gonna say constant fix width is equal to document dot query selector and I'm going to select fix width class. Now once we have this class, I'm going to add here a constant variable and say OBS observer is equal to new resize observer. Now let me explain what is resize observer. Resize observer interface reports the changes to the dimension of an element. The benefit of using resize observer is it's going to avoid infinite callback loops. So the resize observer is going to execute only when the size of the element changes. Let me show. You. So I'm going to create an instance of resize observer and inside this I'm going to pass entries. Now that's upon you you can specify any name to this variable. It's just a placeholder. And let me first print this in the console to show you the result. So I'm going to say here console.log and I'm going to print entries here. If I print this, I'm not going to get anything because we need to specify what to observe from this resize observer. So just down here, we have to say here OBS, the instance, and then call here a method observe. Now there are three methods you can get with this resize observer, which is disconnect, observe, and an observe. So let's get this observe. We have to observe this fix width this div element. So I'm going to pass that here, something like this. Now let me save the changes and open the console. And now you can see we have here an array of resize observer entries. When you expand it, you can see we have different properties here. The border box size, content box size, content react, device pixel content box size and a target. Now this border box, this content box and this device pixel content box size are the bounding box values. So if you expand this, then you can notice we have the block size 100, which is the height of this block, and 300 is the width of this block. If you open the style.css, you can notice here, we have the height 100, 
and width is going to be 300 so it's just going to reflect the height and width of this box the same with the context box size so you can say we have the box size 100 and the inline size 300 and the same with this device pixel context you can notice so these are the bounding properties you will get with this resize observer now here you will get two important properties which is target the targeted element you can say we have div fix width this division tag the current element and then you have here the content react inside this content react you have bottom height left right top width and x and y position now these all are the read only properties you can get the value of your div using these properties now let me add something inside this paragraph if i type something here you can see when the size of this div increase or decrease every time the resize observer is going to execute and i'm going to have the values inside a console if you open the content react you can notice we have different values here and if you open this then you can notice we have here 293 means the actual value of this division tag if i add something inside this you can see every time when the width of this division tag change the resize observer is going to execute this console.log so every time when i change the width of this div the resize observer is going to execute the callback function so let's use this function to change the position of this division tag so to do that i'm simply going to first add here a command and i'm going to just first say constant fix width now this is a new variable as you know i'm not using the global variable inside this function so this is going to create a new variable inside this function and then i'm going to say here equal to sign and then i'm going to grab this first resize observer entry so to grab it as you know this is an array so we can grab this with this index zero so i'm going to say here entries of zero so this is going to return all these properties let me show you if i save this if i console.log it after this something like this then you can notice i'm going to have all these values now to access this content react property i can just simply pass here dot and say content react save this and then i'm going to have all these values now i want to access the width property of this content react so i'm going to say here dot and say here width save this and now if i put something inside this paragraph this editable paragraph then you can notice every time the width of this division tag change you will get new value inside a console now what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this width and then i'm going to put that here so i'm going to say here constant flag is equal to and put this width here and i'm going to say here if the width is less than or equal to 250 then return true so i'm just going to add here an expression if the width is less than or equal to 250 then return true otherwise return false to this flag variable so once we have this true and false value here i can just simply say here fix width dot target as you know with this entries if i print this entries here i can get the targeted element this one so i can get this division tag using this target property so i'm just going to say that here so i'm just going to say here fix width dot target dot style and i'm going to specify here dot background color is equal to and then i'm going to pass here flag variable which has true or false value and then i'm going to pass here ternary operator and then i'm going to print here two hex values so this is my true value and this is the false value let me save the changes and show you the result now when i put something inside this editable paragraph if i increase the size of it you can see now we have this hex color to this paragraph if i change the width again you can see we have two different background colors to this division tag now what i want when the size of this division tag is less than 250 i want to change its position so to do that i'm simply going to say here fix width dot target the target element and then pass here style dot transform is equal to then pass here flag variable which has true and false values 
and then I'm gonna say here double quote and then say translate inside this translate I'm gonna say 50% and minus 150% so I'm just going to change the position of this fixed width if we have true inside this flag and otherwise I'm just going to return null so I will just pass here empty string something like this let me save this and if I change the size of this editable paragraph you can see this division tag is now going to change its position if I decrease the size of it again it's take its previous position now at the end I want to fix the width of this division tag to do that I can simply pass here minimum width 250 pixel that's it let me just execute this program again if I edit this paragraph you can see now we have different position to this division tag and if I decrease this paragraph width as you can see we have the initial value to this division tag you can see the resize observer is working with the element width instead of the viewport width you can't change the width of the element with media query because CSS media query work with device viewport or you can say the window viewport the resize observer works with the element width that is why every time the division tag change its width the resize observer it's going to execute and then we're going to have these values the benefit of using resize observer is it can avoid infinite callback loops now you may use this resize observer anywhere in your application where you allow the end user to increase your html element as you know the possible way user can increase or decrease the width of the division tag in that case the other element get shrink or expand to solve that problem and make your application completely responsive and interactive you can use this resize observer so i hope you understand how to work with resize observer with a simple example if you find anything useful make sure to like this video subscribe for more latest videos that is all for now i will see you in the next one